Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Air Jordan 3 Russell Westbrook 3D PE. I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, there's a lot of dope details that go along with this sneaker. And I'm excited to give you guys the first ever sneaker review of this shoe, courtesy of my boys over at Untied. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys go check them out and follow them on IG or use the discount code DNA Show on their website. And that'll give you guys free shipping from all their orders. I have the links for you down below in the description on that. Now let's go ahead and get into some of the history of the shoe. As most of us know, Russell Westbrook played for OKC and he set some of the craziest records in NBA history averaging a triple double throughout the entire season and not only did he do something that someone had never done before he did it two years back to back so because of that Jordan Brand decided to make a special edition sneaker for him commemorating that moment and that's where we got the 3d rest book Jordan 3s and like I said earlier there's a lot of cool details that are on this shoe that I'll tell you more about the history and the story so I'll wait for the review portion of the video to show you all that information all right we got a lot to uncover when it comes to this shoe it kind of looks simple and unique in different ways and I can see that with it being a predominant white shoe but there's a lot of cool aspects and details to this sneaker so let's get ahead and get started with the bottom of the shoe first looking at the outsole you got your classic Air Jordan 3 outsole now typically on the OG style you got your Nike branding but when it comes to the retro style you have your Jordan branding which we will see the same thing on the back of the heel we'll talk about that in a second and then going to the other elements of the shoe you have that milky translucent outsole all throughout the main part of the shoe you got your blue pod in the front and then your orange kind of neon orange right here in the middle and the back end of the foot and these are going to be similar to those OKC colors, but definitely more vibrant and definitely have a lot more pop to them. Now going to the midsole right here, you got a lot of different elements to this, something that you don't typically see. You have your matte blue right here on the top half. You're more of a sail colored white all throughout the bottom end. Your why not in three different colors. It's going to be a black, a blue, and an orange. And then you got your sail stitch and sail rubber throughout the front end of the toe. And then around the middle of the foot on the inside, this goes into the center right here and stops with the blue and then you got to sail on the other end. Sometimes we see the color go all the way throughout touching to the toe and most of the times we see the color stopping right here on your Jordan 3s. Kind of depends on the colorway but I like how they did that when it comes to these especially with the cool details on the front end on the outside of the foot. Now when it comes to the upper let's talk about these materials because these things are nice. Starting with the elephant print on the front and back end of the shoe you have that premium tumbled leather all throughout that area and then that's going to be a sail kind of in the back end but if you look really close you kind of have that double layered element as well it's the orange over the blue but it kind of gives you like three different colors being that these are the 3d air jordan 3s it makes sense how they did that kind of giving you that same look if you didn't have the 3d glasses on and then you were to put them on it would kind of make it look a little bit better honestly i wish i had some 3d glasses right now just to see what these things look like that would be kind of cool but either way i can definitely see where they went with that effect and i love how they did that detail on this shoe and that's also something they did at the top end of the shoe in the center of the foot around the lace holes similar to something like the true blue threes we've seen that where they have the elephant print in that area other shoes depending on the colorway again they don't always have it but i like how they add that to here typically on jordan threes it can make the shoe look a little bit more bland if it's the same color on the upper and the middle of the foot so this part right here definitely gives it more detail and gives it a little bit more depth in the shoe and that's kind of ironic because we're talking about a 3d colorway right here now next up right here you have three sets of leather you have a smooth leather a tumbled leather and a perforated leather so starting with the smooth leather around the mud guard and the front end of the shoe right here if you look really really close it's really faint it's hard to see but hopefully I can get a good shot for you guys with the right lighting and angle but there's actually numbers and little letters all throughout the whole white part of the mud guard area in the center of the foot and wrapping around the toe and it's kind of like a shiny white text and numbers on there and these numbers actually represent the same numbers that we'll see on the insoles in a bit so it's super dope detail hopefully you guys can see it you'll see a clearer shot of what exactly the numbers are once we get to that and talk about that in a second but that's something that's very subtle about this sneaker that when we talk about you know sneakerhead wizardry and all the different levels to shoes and the little intricate parts and stuff that's definitely a dope detail that a lot of people would probably miss now when it comes to the tumbled leather on the upper as I feel this leather I'm telling you right now these things are nice like I said earlier premium everything and that's something that you typically get when it comes to PEs it's rare that they're going to be slacking when it comes to quality cuts and materials simply because they don't have to make as many pairs and they're making it for some high level individual which means what they want to put their best foot forward especially if they know that they're going to be wearing them on the court or off the court and going on blogs and different places like that yo real quick we just restocked some of the inventory on the website 
right? So hit the link down below in the description, shopdnashow.com, or if you check out the items pinned just below the video right here, you'll also see some of the products available there. So if you ever wanna support the channel or like some of the merch that you see that I wear in the videos, everything will be available at shopdnashow.com. Now let's get back to the review. Now going to the back end of the shoe on the heel right here, you have a white tab, a black text right here, and a black jump man there. And like I said earlier, you've, if you get the Jordan branding on the bottom of the shoe, typically you're gonna have a jump man on the back. It would have been dope if they would have thrown the 3D Westbrook logo on the back end or something like that, but I'm not mad at them doing this. And I know everybody wants to see Nike Air on all the PEs and stuff, but I think it's fine by them not doing that. Either way, this shoe is still really, really clean. Could they have potentially done a splash of orange or something like that? Maybe, but I feel like the black is still cool. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to the heel tab on the back end. So these also come with the Air Jordan hang tag, your plastic see-through on the outsides, and then your orange on the middle, matching similar to the tongue and then the orange hits that you see throughout the shoe as well. And that's something that has always been classic and iconic for everybody. And people love to use those as keychains and different things like that when they get other sneakers. So I love how they did that and added it to the shoe and how it matches is with the eyelets on the front end of the shoe right here with the orange. And then you got the blue plastic pieces right here on the middle of the foot and also blue here at the top end around the ankle area. Now these come standard with a pair of flat white laces but one thing that really sticks out that I didn't notice the first time I had ever seen these the leather on the tongue in the back end is actually a different shade. It's more of a sail colored tan color compared to the white, how it looks a little bit more of a pure white. So if you look really closely right here, as you see on the perforated tongue, the two different colors between the toe box and the tongue right there, that wraps all the way up to the center of the tongue. And then you have your 3D Westbrook logo in the center of tongue as well. And that's gonna be in the orange with the blue behind it. And then it kind of gives like that brown faded color in between the two as they're mixed together. So I like how they, integrated the two different stamps and the orange wasn't so prominent over the blue where it kind of just looks like it had a blue shadow but it's kind of integrated in the two giving it that effect so that was definitely another really dope touch and i love how they executed this sneaker now going to the back end of the tongue like i said earlier you got that same vibrant orange on the back end you got a white sock liner or more of a sail sock liner and then on the insole let's pull the insoles out real quick because this is what i was talking about before this is definitely another dope touch to the shoe to finish these things off right. Man, they did a, such a good job on this shoe. So if you look at the insoles right here, you can see you've got all the different stats, points per game, assists, rebounds, the things that it caused for him to get a triple-double through two different seasons the average numbers from those things. So super dope to see that and how they added that element to the insole all throughout. Him just scoring, going crazy over the years. And then how they added it to the mud guard on the front end of the shoe, another dope touch. I think this is definitely a very clean shoe and very interesting at the same time. If this was a sneaker that was a GR that came out to the public, would it be sought after as much? Would everybody care about it as much? I'm not sure. I think because it is rare, yes, that creates a lot more hype behind the shoe, but this could potentially be one of those releases that could have been like a kid's release or something that came out and people kind of slept on and people, if you know, you know type of thing and you liked it, it was cool, but if not, you didn't have to really worry about it and you just slept on the shoe and maybe you could have got it at an outlet or something like that. This could have potentially fell in that same category. Not every single PE is the greatest one of all time, but at the same time, to be able to get my hands on these, I was excited and I couldn't pass it up. And I've been waiting for so long to share these with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you guys wanna see other crazy PEs or samples or rare gems or exclusive looks with clear images and things like that, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, join the family, join the squad. And I made a full playlist for you guys with a bunch of different samples and PEs in it if you guys wanna learn more about that world. So I appreciate you as always i'll see you in another one my sneaker wizards i would never let you down yo before you go i just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside i teach you all the stuff that i learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways i give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today one of those. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA